are so powerful, Lord, that whatever we say, the Bible says that we have the ability, but what we bind on earth mm-hmm. is bound. What we loose on earth is mm-hmm. loosed. And if we are made in the image of our God, and if we are joint heirs with the Son, Christ, everything together by what he says, powerful words, and everything that you have in your life at mm-hmm. one point was a thought and therefore became words. I want to encourage someone today. You have power. If you belong to the Son, you have power. Please let us stop walking in defeat. Let us stop working, walking in fear. Let us stop walking in suspicion of who is in the boat, who isn't on our team, who is and who isn't for us. We walk in power because he said everything in the beginning was made by the Son and all things in the end will belong to him. So therefore, let me start my prayer this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and we bless your name because we walk in power and in strength this morning. Heavenly Father, you got us up out of our beds. Some of us are on our way to work. Some of us are already at work. Dear Heavenly Father, the old saints used to say good morning that our bed wasn't our We didn't wake up where our bed was our cooling board, Heavenly Father. We know that you have woken us up this morning and given us power. I thank you for those that are on this line this morning, Heavenly Father. I thank you for those who took the time to call in. Maybe they're looking for an encouragement. Maybe they're coming down to the bottom of the week, and they're not feeling so strong. There have been some things that have scared us in the news. There have been some things that have attempted to frighten us in our politics and in our local town. But we continue to bring forth the word against all obstacles, Heavenly Father, that were coming our way. Your word says that we belong to you. You will never leave us nor forsake us, Heavenly Father. You give us strength. You said the righteous run in the mighty high tower, Heavenly Father. So this morning, I'm calling strength on those this morning. Lift them up, Heavenly Father. Encourage them. Strengthen them. Cover them and let them know your presence, dear Lord. There are those who may be calling in with illness or with the prayer requests of those who are ill. I'm asking, Heavenly Father, that your healing power come down this morning and raise up these ones, Heavenly Father. I did get a prayer request of someone going in for surgery. Dear Heavenly Father, cover those doctors, anesthesiologists, nurses, and everybody around that person and so that they are at the best of their skill and ability when they operate on this person. We ask for a speedy recovery, dear Lord. We ask for them to rise up and be able to have a praise report for your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, we called out the children this morning, and yes, we always pray for our children. Cover them, Lord. Keep them from the bullies, Lord. Keep them from the sexual predators, Lord. Keep them from anything that would mar their mind, their heart, their their soul and their body. Dear Heavenly Father, cover them and give them the ability to learn, Lord, to have a good time to connect with their peers and with their teachers, Heavenly Father. Cover them as we approach this Christmas season that we don't have to hear about any hurt, harm, or danger to little innocent ones right now, dear Lord. We ask that you cover again in sadness, though, these families out of Tennessee. I have a dear dear friend from that area who is suffering, who is going through, but I ask that you send angels, angels of mercy with food, with water, with clothing. I thank you for even Dolly Parton, who is opening up her money to give to these families, Lord. We have the ability to affect somebody's life. Let us not hold back when we have the ability to make a change in someone's life, Lord. Give us the resources to go and help those who who have been pulled down in any way, shape, or form. So I'm praying over those families, Lord. Touch them, cover them, let them know that they are loved, that they they encourage them. Even from Lumberton, Lord, we haven't forgotten about those families, Heavenly Father, that are facing Christmas time with very little, and can they even return to their homes? So, dear Heavenly Father, there are those hurting in the world, but those of us who have any strength, if it's by word, if it's by deed, if it's by a donation, if it's by anything, Lord, give us the ability and direct it to where it needs to go. I know you can do all these things in God's, in Jesus' name. Dear Heavenly Father, there are those who in their mind, because the holidays are coming, 
are facing depression, Lord, are facing loneliness, Lord, are facing the point of rejection in their lives that they are by themselves. I ask, Heavenly Father, that those on this line seek out a person that you may or may not even know who may be going through this time. Encourage them in whatever form God puts on your heart, Lord. Let them let them be your soldiers and your stewards, Lord, to go out and find those people so that we don't have to hear about a suicide, Lord. We don't have to hear about somebody checking themselves into hospitals, Lord. We don't have to hear about anything. Guide our footsteps to those people who are lonely. And, Lord, even if it's somebody on this call, I ask that you let somebody know. Open your mouth, Lord, and let somebody know that we can minister to you in whatever way we can. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done. For us here, Lord, with Single, Saved, and Serious, I thank you, Lord, for this opportunity for ministry, Lord. It's a movement, but we thank you for the ministry, the ability to touch the lives, touch the minds, and touch the hearts of people, Lord. So I thank you for what you've done throughout this year as we come to a bottom of the year and open up 2017 for us to do even more. I bless those on this line who have ministries. I bless your ministry in Jesus' name. I call down bounty. I call down blessing. And I call down provision for you in 2017 to reach another level, as they say, Lord, a new level, Lord, but just really reach a new soul, reach a new heart, reach a new mind and body to make a difference in the lives of people so that they will be able to praise our God in heaven as they praise us on this earth, Heavenly Father. I thank you, Lord, for everything that you're doing. I'm just filled with joy this morning. I'm just filled with joy. But I also have something else. For those, Lord, and it came across my mind, so I'm going to mention it, for those who are survivors of domestic violence, this morning I don't know why the Spirit was on me so heavy. Dear Heavenly Father, wrap them in your love. Let them not be plagued by memories. Let them not be plagued by instances. Let them not be plagued by PTSD. Let them not be plagued by anything. Let them not even look at the scars if they have them on their body the same way. Remove the scars from their mind, Heavenly Father. Lift them up. Let them walk in power and in might. Let them walk in confidence and in love. Let them walk in the beauty that someone else rejected that you see from the bottom of your heart, Heavenly Father. I cover those women and men, Lord, that have gone through these situations. My heart just breaks to hear the stories, Lord. And so, therefore, I call your mercy, your grace, and your love to surround these people. Let them know there's a better way. Let them know there's a way. Our Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I just feel your spirit. Those still stuck in those situations, help them escape, Heavenly Father. Lift their children in those situations. In the mighty name of Jesus, get them out of those homes, Heavenly Father. If they have to just leave with what is on their back, I ask that you gave them safe passage from one place to another place, Lord, and put them in safe Dear Heavenly Father, we pray and we ask all these things in the name of the Son, Jesus Christ, for whom the world, by whom the world was made, and in the end, who it will all belong. In mm-hmm. Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen and amen. If there's anyone else who would like to pray or who, if you have a prayer request or a praise report, please feel free to speak up. Or if God has laid on your heart a word, we'd love to hear what God has imparted to you. Oh, we're just ministering this morning. That's quite all right. That's quite all right. Well, we're not going to belabor the call. I know this is a Friday and so many people are either, as Chuck is coming off of work, other people are going to work. So I just want to pray one last time. Check unless there's something you'd like to do. I just want to pray and cover them for this weekend. Oop, I'm not sure where he is, but that's okay. Judy. Yes, ma'am. I just want to say, I just want to encourage somebody that during this time, um, there has been a um, lot of things that a lot of people that have actually been reaching out to um, Divine Daughter of Destiny concerning 
um, depression and, and, you know, especially during this time. So you hit on that by way of the Holy Spirit, and I really appreciate you open, opening up yourself or availing yourself to hear. Um, but I want to encourage someone that, listen, I put it on Facebook, but go on the Internet, go on the web, go on your events page in um your city, whatever city you're in, and I encourage you, I challenge you to seek out other ministries. Uh, it doesn't even have to be inside the four walls of the church, but other yes. safe ministries that are doing something during this season and connect with someone that is actually doing something. Get out of the house. Um, take yourself to lunch. Take yourself to, to dinner, whatever, those that are on the line that can, that has a little extra, hey, reach out to these people. Meet them at a restaurant. Get together and do something. Link up. You don't have to know the person, but I challenge you on this day, today, that uh, December the 2nd, as a matter of fact, at 8.18 a.m., to please refuse to stay at home and allow the enemy to speak with, to your mind that will in turn get into your spirit because what is in the heart, the mouth will speak. Amen. And when we... And when we when we asking God to really help us, the one thing that He wants us to do more than anything else is to believe what His Word says about you. Yes. So what you have to do is get into His Word and believe what His Word says about you. Number one, you're the head and not the tail. You are always tail. above and never beneath. Amen. Number two, He is with you. He'll never leave you, nor will He forsake you. Number three, He said that you can look to the hill from what comes His head. Help. For all of your help comes from him. Amen. Number four, look to his word to get the promises. His promises are yea and amen. That when he will do just what he said. Ask him to order your footsteps because he said in his word that he would. Yes, he will. So yes, to will. encourage you, find someone, link up with someone and do something. Do not sit at the house. Do not get depressed because what happens with depression is with depression there comes a desperation, and that desperation causes things to work not for your good. <laughs> and so you begin to see that, you know what, out of a desperate situation, I'm just going to get anybody just so I won't consider myself as being lonely. Don't right. do that. Don't do it. Mm. Get with someone that can speak to you, that can speak life in your spirit, that can bring that. So we bind that spirit of depression. We yeah. bind that spirit of loneliness that is trying to attack itself to your mind. The Bible says that you can renew, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Of your and mind. on this day, we want you to renew your mind. So we bind all of those things that are not like God, and we lose the spirit of joy and temperance and meekness and happy mm. during this season. Amen. Yeah. Not just Amen. this season, but every day of your life. Amen. That's what we're losing in your life on this day, today. And so God bless you. I just want to encourage someone that we that are single, those that are even married, some of y'all are in lonely situations as well mm -hmm. that are sitting at home being lonely and still married. I encourage you to do something different. Get out with your spouse. Do something that you haven't done before. before. Amen. It will work. Communicate and communicate with the grace and the love that God has already given you when he sent his son Jesus to the cross. Amen. God bless you. That's all I wanted to say. Amen. Thank you so much, Roseanne. Roseanne uh, Fagans has a ministry called Design Daughters for Destiny, and she is a minister she preaches, she prays, she evangelizes, um, and we're so grateful to always have her with us and Single Saves and Serious even partners with her on events. And so she's speaking such life today. And I just want to follow behind that in saying take captive every thought. There, there's a scripture that I used to have to keep by my bedside. Take captive every thought and bring it into yes. subjection, subjection of the mm -hmm. knowledge of God. Sometimes mm -hmm. our thoughts do not mirror the knowledge 
image of God, and mm-hmm. therefore yeah. we've got to bring them into subjection. Remind yourself of the mm-hmm. promises of God. Remind yeah. yourself of his promises, of his vows to you, of his statements of what he can do and what he will do mm-hmm. and what he has already done. So mm-hmm. I, I want everybody to take Roseanne's words to heart. Please don't sit alone. Please don't sit. And, and, and I, I used to do it, wallow, kind of in mm-hmm. those thoughts that go around and around and around. Get up. Do something different. Create a mm-hmm. staycation right wherever you are located and go out and find something new and some new people to encourage mm-hmm. yourself. So if, um, if anyone else has anything they'd like to add, thank you again, Roseanne, for that. Mm-hmm. God bless you. God bless you, yes. Well, if uh, every – oh, I'm sorry. Good morning. Announcement? Just wanted to do an announcement, a quick announcement. Yes, um, tomorrow can. morning we'll be um, at 7 o'clock a.m. We're going to be on A Mother's Love, and we're going to okay. be praying for um, children around the world, not just children. We're just going to go, and we're just going to bind the spirit of depression. These next few Saturdays, that's what we will be praying on, um, regardless of whether it's in an adult or whether or not it's in children. Okay. Also, uh, I wanted to mention that next um, Friday night, at um, 7 o'clock, we will be in Concord. Yeah. Um, we will be ministering there um, with uh, New Line of Judah is the name of it, New Line of Judah. Um, that is actually located at 78 Buffalo, Buffalo Avenue, Suite 200 in Concord. Pastor Robin Mobley is the um, pastor in New Line of Judah. So we will be there in revival, actually Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But um, Friday night, um, George truly will be ministering at 7 o'clock. Wonderful, wonderful. And then also give them the date in January to keep on their calendars. January the 28th at Conversation Peace. That's Conversation Peace um, in Concord. Mm -hmm. Um, Actually, we will be there. Uh, with none other than <laughs> the infamous Jonathan Rose. Jonathan Rose, he is Mr. Jazz himself, Mr. Sax. Uh, it's a Christian singles experience, conversation piece, restaurant and grill, located at 846 Union Street. That's going to be January the 28th between the hours of 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. Wonderful, wonderful. And um, I hear you check back online if you just want to let people know about tomorrow. If they didn't already know, <laughs> but I'll let them know about tomorrow. Talking about me? Yes, I was talking about you. Oh, let okay. them know about. Um, What's up? What's up, people? They're all red. Holy, holy day! I was going. I really wanted to really holy day party. Now go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all gotta excuse me. I'm kind of tired right now. But uh, tired is a country word for tired. But um, yeah, we got an all red holiday party. Tomorrow from 1 to 5 at the Doghouse Bar and Grill. Um, so bring your red. Uh, it'll be from 1 to 5 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we got Mayhew and uh, John Simmons, if y'all are not familiar. That's a band. Um, so they're going to be playing from like uh, 1.30 just to 2.45, please. So come on out there and DJ Poseid. going to be on the turntables. So we got music, and it's hosted by Truly Yours, not yours truly, but Truly Yours. So um, I hope you all can come out and just enjoy yourselves. I tried to create more of a, a something for the Christians to do because there's so much for people out in the world to do. So I wanted to have something for the Christians to do and build it within a bar and grill and, and you know, club atmosphere. The community, out in the community, We're going to yeah. be able to praise God within the community as well as the city. So I look forward to seeing y'all support, man. It's all about doing it for God. But, um, well, if there also, isn't any other – oh, I'm sorry, did you have something else? I no, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to close, so if you want to say something. This is uh, Beverly Davis. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for inviting me um, to this this call. Uh, very, very much what I needed in confirmation of some mm. of the things that I've been sharing with people, and um, I'm just I'm really excited about you know what what's to come. But I do understand that this season 
Uh, many do deal with uh, depression, um, whether that's, you know, the fact that they don't have anybody to spend time with and um, feeling the feelings of alone, uh, being alone or uh, not being able to provide or do the extra uh, for their family. So I just thank you all so very much it's in direct alignment with everything that, that I've been discussing here lately. Um, I do have a nonprofit organization uh, called A Brighter Day Ministries. Um, we are in the Hoskins community here in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, and I work with the youth. And when I say, you know, I'm, I'm many, many days because of some of the things that the young people share, um, things that they wouldn't even, you know, talk to a counselor about. So we are um, we're very blessed and have been in that community for the past eight years. But uh, we have our uh, Christmas program that's coming up on December the 17th at 101 South Hoskins Road. Um, that's at Hoskins Avenue Baptist Church. Um, we'll take over the fellowship hall there. And um, last year we had over 100 children to show up and um, their families. So we... Um, we're looking for donations and volunteers. There's anybody that, you know, wants to come out. And when I say if you need a hug, you'll get a hug. <laughs> There's plenty of children that just need a <laughs> hug. Yeah. And um, I, I don't ever go with, without getting uh, my uh, cup runneth over <laughs> with hugs when, um, when we have these programs. Wow. If you all uh, would love to come out and, and share in that celebration, we would love to have uh, each and every one of you there. Beverly, um, can you, um, I don't know if we're friends, because I, I have lost track of my friends once I got over 1,000. So if we are not friends, um, Judith wilson Burks, please um, see if we can tag each other. And um, I'm going to look at my calendar. I, I, I've been looking for something to do for the holidays, and I, since you mentioned this, I'd like to see if I could come out. But um, let's try to find each other. What's your last name again? Uh, it's Beverly Knox, K-N-O-X, Davis. Davis. She okay. was a part of the, uh, part of the challenge, yes. Judy, and she also was oh. uh, a vendor at Customer's um the Pastor Moore's event, the comedy show, you remember she was a vendor. Well, you know what? This is why I rely on his brain. He remembers everyone. <laughs> so I will definitely try to um, connect with you and so that we can tag each other for that event. All right, perfect. And um, definitely, definitely. Thank um, you. Any other announcements or uh, words of encouragement? And thank you, Beverly, for that. I, the Spirit was working in concert, as he usually does, <laughs> this morning with all of us to Absolutely. touch upon these subjects. So thank you for that. Anyone else? Well, um, as the old saint said, if all hearts and minds are one, we can go ahead and um, dismiss. Um, Chuck, did you want to dismiss or would you like me to? I know you're tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. Okay. So. Um, I'll go ahead and dismiss. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you again for a, each and every one that has been on this call this morning. You know their individual lives, their individual needs, and so therefore the Holy Spirit that dwells in all of us, I ask that you stir it up, stir it up in them, Lord, and so that they will be able to meet the demands of their day and you meet their needs of their day and of their life and of their family, Lord. Cover them, Lord, this weekend as we go out and about on the roads. As the whole saint said, and the highways and the byways keep us safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. And bring us back again, Lord, at the appointed time that we will be able to fellowship and worship and praise the Lord together. I ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. And always remember, we love you, but God loves, loves you more. Loves you more. Amen. Have a blessed and wonderful day. <laughs>